Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Moeller, President and CEO for Special Olympics Indiana, and I am joining you from Plainfield, Indiana, home of Duke Energy. Just in a few moments, our champion sponsors here at Duke will announce additional names to Team Indiana. This is a select group of athletes and coaches who will be competing for Team Indiana at the 2022 USA Games in Orlando, Florida. Those selections today will be the unified volleyball team, a second unified bocce pair, and a total of eight swimmers for Team Indiana. And of those eight swimmers, we have four men and four women. Now, if you saw our special announcement last week, then you know that the sport of swimming is of particular interest to our friends here at Duke Energy. And there are a couple reasons why. First, when our partnership with Duke Energy started over 40 years ago, their CEO, Al Barker, was an avid swimmer. And with his interest and love for Special Olympics and our athletes, we began that great partnership that exists still today. Back then, they were Public Service Indiana, and today they are Duke Energy. While there's a change in name, there is no change in their desire to serve our athletes. In addition to honoring Al's memory, though, Duke Energy is committed to supporting the expansion of Special Olympics Indiana's swimming program as a me means of addressing a statistic, a fact that is of dire consequences to some of our athletes. You see, people with intellectual disabilities are at greater risk of drowning if they don't know how to swim. Learning to swim is important and could save your life. But we're here today to talk about those who have not only learned to swim, but they've learned how to compete and compete successfully. And they've trained hard for a number of years to achieve their dreams of earning medals in the pool. Joining me now is a young man, many of you may know him, an outstanding advocate for Special Olympics, an ambassador for the Special Olympics movement here in Indiana and around the world, but you may not know that he's also an accomplished swimmer who continues to set personal bests in the pool. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Liam Price. Thanks, Jeff. My name is Liam Price, and I am a Special Olympics athlete from Greenwood, Indiana, Johnson County. Like so many of you, I am proud to say that being involved in Special Olympics for the past several years has changed my life for the better. As a student at Center Grove High School, I was involved in Unified Track and Field and was honored to become a spokesperson for Champions Together. The partnership between Special Olympics Indiana and the IHSAA that creates opportunities for people with intellectual disabilities to compete in varsity sports alongside their peers. I was later selected to serve as a Special Olympics U.S. Youth Ambassador, helping to spread the word about the inclusion revolution to schools across the nation. After graduating from high school in the spring of 2020, I decided to attend the University of Indianapolis, where I am now studying communications. I was also invited to join the swim and dive team as a walk-on athlete. Go Greyhounds! I owe much of my success to a new and improved outlook on life that I gained through my involvement with Special Olympics Indiana. And on behalf of all my fellow athletes across the state of Indiana, I am glad to be here today to say thank you to everyone at Duke Energy for helping to make programs like Champions Together possible. So thank you. Well said, Liam. Now, if you missed the announcement or would like to learn more about the Duke Energy Partnership and how they support Special Olympics Indiana, please visit our website at soindiana.org slash duke2021. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Here to announce the next selections to Team Indiana, it's my honor to introduce Stan Penninger, President of Duke Energy's Indiana Operations. Well, thank you, Jeff. Uh, this is a great day. Uh, it's a great day for Special Olympics Indiana. It's an even better day for Duke Energy Indiana and the wonderful athletes that we get to support and announce today. It's certainly my pleasure 
to represent 2,600 Duke Energy Indiana employees uh, today in making this announcement and pledging our continued support uh, for Special Olympics efforts. You know, personally, one of the best days of my year is the opportunity to volunteer at the State Games in Terre Haute. And fortunately, we had that opportunity again this year after the not so fortunate uh, activities uh, from last year. So it was really a wonderful day in Terre Haute that I got to spend uh, with Jeff and his team, as well as the athletes. We provided a bingo tent uh, at Terre Haute for the athletes uh, uh, and, and their families to participate in. And despite the fact that it was over 100 degrees that day, we had a great, great attendance in our bingo tent. And I just thank our Duke Energy employees who helped that day and all the athletes and families who, who showed up. You know, I, I often say, and this is, this is not new news to anyone that's involved in Special Olympics, we can contribute our money and we can contribute our time, but we get considerably more out of Special Olympics than we, than we give. Uh, every single instance, we get more out of Special Olympics than we give. So with that, it's a great honor today on behalf of Duke Energy uh, to announce the athletes and the unified partners who will be invited to join Team Indiana in making the great, great trip to Orlando in 2022. Up first, competing in the unified volleyball, I'm really pleased to announce that my home county, where I grew up and was born, Delaware County, the Delaware County Cardinals will be participating in the Orlando Games uh, representing Indiana. Congratulations, Delaware County Cardinals. Next, competing in the unified bocce, bocce ball games and joining uh, the pair that was announced following the summer games, athlete Lindsay Hanna and unified partner Kristen, Kristen Schoonfeld from Washington Township will be attending. Congratulations. <laughs> and finally, the swimmers, Katie Baumgartel from Clark and Floyd Counties. Congratulations, Katie. Shelly Blattner from Henry County. Congratulations, Shelly. Kendra Franklin from Ripley, Ohio, Dearborn Counties. Congratulations, Kendra. Katie Williams from Washington Township. Way to go, Katie. Josh Rinking from Johnson County. Congratulations, Josh. Dagan Everman from Putnam County. Way to go, Dagan. <laughs> Sam Foley from Tippecanoe County. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> and our friend Liam Price from Johnson County. Congratulations, Liam. You're heading to Orlando. Are you excited? Yep. <laughs> All right. So on behalf of Special Olympics Indiana, Stan, your team here at Duke Energy, thank you for hosting today's announcement. Thank you for partnering with us for over 40 years. To Liam and the rest of the new additions to Team Indiana, congratulations. And our next announcements for Team Indiana will be in September, following the state championships of golf and softball. We'll see you then. <laughs>